But then on the bright side, we get to see the Amazonian State Army act in line with what they were what they've signed up to do to defend homeland and keep La Republique and its proxies, as well as its colonial forces, at bay. Here we have a report from happenings on the ground, which reveal that from yesterday's happenings on the ground, the 25th of uh, September 2024 to yesterday, Wednesday, seeing the situation in Bowie County, which has intensified as the Amazonian State Army successfully neutralized dozens of La Republic de Cameroon forces in the Tobin Kumbo local government area. Well, this operation executed by the Amazonian State Army elite squad under the command of Major General Tolkien Du demonstrates the unwavering resolve of the Amazonian State Army to protect their territory against colonial incursions and unwarranted aggression. Now, the Amazonian State Army is sending a clear and powerful message that there is no refuge for La Republic du Cameroon soldiers within the borders of southern Cameroon. The ongoing conflict is not just a military engagement. It is a fight for the fundamental rights to self-determination and a reclamation of independence that has historically and legally granted to the people of Amazonia something that was stolen. Well, the ASA continues to defend their homeland with tenacity, urging all the citizens of the southern Cameroons to rally in support of their cause. The sacrifices made by the ASA fighters are aimed at restoring Amazonian stolen state, or discouraging their commitment to never relent in their struggle until full independence is achieved. Not just full independence being achieved, but in the light of this ongoing conflict, the ASA has proposed a peace option for the La Republic of Cameroon forces, a chance to surrender their weapons and receive safe passage to secure locations. This offer reflects the ASA's desire to end hostilities and to emphasize that the colonial forces have no just course for continuing this war against a people fighting for their inherent rights. Now, this is a call for peace. It's not just a strategic move. It is a testament to the ASA's commitment to their people and their home for a future free from pain, free from oppression. The fight for Amazonia is a fight for all. Well, in that report, we saw dozens of La Republic du Cameroon forces we saw forces who have no just cause for continuing the war against the people who lost their lives. Dozens of them, according to report, with locally made bullets by the ASA elite squad under the leadership of Major General Tolk Ndu. They were early sent um, out of the territory of Amazonia and dozens of which died in that uh, fierce battle between the Amazonian State Army. And that message from the Amazonian State Army was quite clear. The fight for Amazonia, which is a fight for justice, dignity, and the right to self-determination, cannot be compared to them coming into the territory of Amazonia with no reason whatsoever to wage a war on the innocent peoples of Amazonia. But then the ASA stands firm in their mission to defend their territory and ensure the safety and sovereignty of 